grandmother walked around with a little twig, a soft twig, under, under her apron, and she would very quietly go along, and uh, if we did something wrong, she would quickly, it was at her hand, grab that little witchkin, give us a schmitz, <laughs> as they say, and it was her stuff kid to steal from her the witchkin, <laughs> because she knew he would get hit. But she would hit him whenever he went by, whether he did something wrong or not. And he would scream, why did you hit me? I didn't do anything. And she would say, well, if you didn't earn it now, <laughs> you'll probably earn it at another time that I didn't have a chance to hit you. So you see, we all, we loved grandma, but we all feared her too. The biggest punishment was when grandmother Rivka gave you a pinch. She used to pick, she never pinched to any other place but the tush. But she used to take out half of the tush with her, with the two fingers, she was so strong that later on you couldn't sit for, for a whole week. Even Helske, Helske, that used to get punishment a lot, told me that, that Rivke's pinch, uh, knip, what you call it, was the hardest of the world. Meyer says the same thing. He said a lot, a lot of punishment, but her knip, you know, all she had to do later on, she used to give you once or twice. But later on, she has to show her the fingers. It was plenty good enough to say, no, 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 I don't want it. I'll do anything you want, but the grandmother ruled. <laughs>